What's going on guys? This is Phil over at Sonoran Banshee. We're in the shop this morning doing a little bit of work on the four mil cub cases. We're doing some port matching in the cases. Get these cases, the transfers matched up to the cub porting. And we'll, uh, we got this one taken care of here. We've got these lines scribed here. We'll get the material removed. This one's taken care of here, and we'll get them cleaned up a little bit. This is critical stuff here. If you have ported jugs, and you've paid money to get them ported, and you don't do your cases, you're essentially wasting money. Because if the air cannot pass through these transfers into your transfers here, then you're getting the same airflow from the crankcase into the transfers. So this is stuff you have to take care of. This is easy to do. You can do it at home. You just have to have your motor apart. Put your jugs on your cases and just reach in there and scribe your line. Scribe your line on the inside of your jugs and uh, take your Dremel and remove it to the line. Don't remove a bunch of material. You can mic this material here, measure how much is there, and then remove you some material. There's quite a bit of mat material on these edges here. There's enough meat that you can remove these and get a nice bevel on them without removing a bunch of material on the face down in here. You don't want to remove material down in here. This is pretty thin. This is a pretty thin uh, case material right in here. So you're really looking to bevel these edges to match your transfers here. So I'll do these inside two here and this one will be good to go. Like I said, we'll clean these up a little bit. And uh, should be good to go. here now that I've removed the material up to this line here the second one still has the scribe on it 
but I've removed this material up to the scribe line. I'll put the jugs back on here and I'll reach through and feel the transition from the jug to the case and make sure that I got this nice and nice and even with the cases or with the jugs. Cleaned up the transfers here. Rub them down with some sandpaper to smooth them out a bit. Get the material off. So what's gonna happen now is we'll put the gasket on here and then we'll have to trim the gasket to match this as well. So what's gonna happen is your gasket's gonna overhang just like all the material removed is that's where the gasket's gonna cover. So you'll have to cut your gaskets to do the same thing. It's all part of it. It's all part of making the airflow. So this is really easy to do. It's, uh, it's something that you really should do when you have the motor apart. Even with your cast or your stock jugs, never hurts to double check them. Never hurts to double check. Make sure the transition from the jug to the case is correct. you're looking for here. I'll flip this over here. It's the transition right in here. The transition from the jug to the case. You can stick your finger down in there and feel it where the case and the jug meet. You don't want any lips. You can see there it's a nice even from there to there, from that one to there. Nice and even. So that's kind of what you're looking for on all of them. Just stick your hand down in there and feel around and make sure you don't have any lips or burrs. And that's gonna free up some more power, guys. <laughs> 